Hey, what's up, family? Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing? Um, it's good to see you cousins in here. Please hit that like button before we get started. So I have a number of stories that I want to do today. I don't know if I will get to them all, but I have two that I want to talk about right now. Let me know in the chat if you can hear me. But I guess by the time you're seeing this, if you can't hear me, <laughs> then I recorded this wrong. So, you guys, um, a lot is going on when it comes to how we shop, how stores can save money, how they can change this and change that. Well, these stores are changing a lot. And we have Kroger's that is basically warning their customers, hey, don't think you can do that skip scan stuff over here because we are watching every move you make with this new AI technology that we have. And then we also are going to talk about what Walmart is doing to change your shopping experience. Some will go for it and some won't. They are going to expand it to other areas. They're only doing it in a few locations right now. So we're going to get into that as well. There we go. I don't know what happened, you guys, but give me a second. Give me a second. Um, no, that's the wrong story. That is definitely the wrong story. I don't want to go to that one. So here we go, you guys. We're seeing that the self-checkout, while it started off as being a great thing, um, <laughs> They've been losing a lot of money and not just Kroger's, a lot of stores are. So one of the biggest involves scanning items. Something shoppers just can't get the scanner to recognize a barcode or they might neglect to scan an item either intentionally or accidentally. So Kroger's has come up with a way that this will hopefully not impact their stores and impact their customers' experiences. A solution was found in the artificial intelligence company ever seen, which uses high resolution cameras, along with a combination of computer vision and AI developed NVIDIA. Ever seen helps the company understand shoppers behaviors at self-checkout and steps in when issues arise. Uh, they operate in a sector where margins are very thin. So anything that gives them the opportunity to grow their sales while reducing losses can be a great source. And this is why um, they are using this and about to expand this to other locations as well. They say that every day we have hundreds of hours of videos and from tens of thousands of transactions coming through ever seen visual AI platform. So the tech had a successful pilot program allowing Kroger to move ahead and roll it out at more than 1700 of their grocery stores with plans to have it running in all locations in the near future. Uh, we are able or we were able to move from pilot phase to full implementation very quickly. And they think that is a testament to the quality of the technology. So they're all in and they are not looking back. Footage from self-checkout is analyzing real time to recognize normal behavior and step in when an irregularity is noticed. And such irregularities include the non-scan when a customer or cashier doesn't scan an item to the more sinister product switch when a customer removes the price sticker from a product and places it on more expensive items to get it for cheaper. Uh, the program will flag the error on the screen and prompt the customer to cashier to fix this mistake. I'm thinking if you're taking a sticker off, placing on another one, and you flag the cashier, you're going to jail. <laughs> you you getting in some kind of trouble. But anyway, not to mention, what if you didn't have the wrong sticker on a product? Maybe it was an error on the worker's part when they were placing the stickers. Just saying, just saying. 
So it says, if the customer can't remedy the issue, the system will alert a store associate so they can rescan the item. Kroger said that the new tech helps correct over 75% of self-checkout errors without employee intervention. Uh, together with both of the AI technology that they're using, they've established a solid foundation. And y'all, they ain't going back. So you need to watch out for what you're doing, okay? That's what you need to do. So y'all can let me know what y'all think down in the comments on there, and we're going to move on over to our next story. And it's just crazy. All these eyes are watching every move you make to see your mannerisms or something like that. I, it's just, I don't, I don't get it. But if they say it helped, I mean, we can't make them not do it or maybe protested <laughs> like everybody else is protesting everything so yeah we're going to get into this one about walmart and the changes that they're making for their customers when it comes to how you are shopping um yeah let's see what walmart is up to here okay Mm hmm. They're going to be doing. OK, so Walmart is going to launch. Well, they have already launched the high tech service at their second store in the U.S. And certain shoppers will no longer need to use self checkout. So they're trying to get a lot of people away from self checkout. But, you know, they're also closing down a lot of self checkouts as well. Um, I was just in Sam's Club yesterday. It was Sam's Club? Yeah. Yesterday. And y'all, this dude was in, in the self-checkout. He was scanning wine and stuff like that. And so because, you know, you need your ID or whatever, the person that was working the self-checkouts was helping someone else. I guess he got tired of waiting. And he was like, hey, I need you over here. Slay. He said it so loud. Honestly, you guys. He said, oh Lord, my microphone is acting stupid. Hold on. He said it so freaking loud that everyone in the store, everyone in the store turned around. <laughs> so I'm like, are you serious right now? Are you serious? I mean, listen, people, I don't know. People are just weird like that. So anyway, Walmart is set to launch a brand new method of delivery at its second U.S. store, and it could help a select few avoid self-checkout. Let me stop. Anyway, Walmart joined forces with a service called Wing or a company called Wing. It's a Google owned company in April announced in April announcing it would begin offering drone delivery in two stores in the Dallas Fort Worth area. This is what it looks like. Crazy, right? So. Hold on. I can't so we can use. I don't know why that song popped in my head. So the service was first launched at Walmart Supercenter in Frisco, Texas. A second delivery location will now be added in early 2024. And Wings is a drone company allowing Walmart to ship deliveries to certain customers instantaneously. It also eliminates the use of self-checkout, a source of problems for retailers and for Walmart specifically, because I think Walmart's losing more money than any of them right now. Currently, Wings Wing can deliver, so I'm thinking about food every time I say Wing. Currently, Wing can deliver items to roughly 60,000 houses in Frisco, Texas. Deliveries typically take around 30 minutes, with the company claiming that it can be particularly helpful during the holiday season. Y'all can let me know in the comments if y'all think about using this drone delivery. Me personally, nope. 
Uh, there's so many holiday parties going on. It's so busy. And just last weekend, this is someone giving their testimony about how this has really saved their life. This lets you know the difference between new school and old school. Soon as something pops out, oh my God, this is going to keep me from doing this. And this is going to, oh, this is going to free up so much of my time. Just saying, just saying. I'm old school though, so what it is what it is. So their main thing and what they worry about is the fact that they were invited to a party, um, didn't realize the party was, you need to bring a gift for the host. And so they didn't get the gift. And so then it threw them out of the loop because then it threw them, they, they were late getting to the party. That was drastic, okay? They were late getting to the party um, and if they had had this whole wing delivery service, then they could have just gone home, do what they need to do to get ready for the party. And it would have been delivered to their home. Honey, this is what the people are worried about. This, this, this world is <laughs> crumbling and this is what they're worried about. So, um, on the way there, they said, I panicked. I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't pick up the gift. I'm reading this in quotations. You see it? So that took me an extra 30 minutes and I was very late to the party. If I had drone delivery, I absolutely would have been able to get ready for the party and also get the gift delivered to my house. Why does this sound like a paid promo? I mean, just, I had to read it how, how it looked and I wanted you to get the effect, okay? So that took me 30 minutes and I was like very late to the party. If I had drone delivery, I absolutely would have been able to get ready for the party and also get the gift delivered to my house. Anyway, they say wing has been functioning in what? In scene. Okay. They said that, uh, <laughs> It's early. It's early, y'all. It's early. They said that uh, Wings has been functioning in various countries aside from the U.S., including Australia, Finland, and Ireland. The service has made over 350,000 deliveries with drones being able to carry under three pounds of product. What in the hell of it? am I getting from Walmart that's under three pounds? See, they're going to deliver lipstick, makeup. They're going to deliver hand sanitizer. Let me see. I don't think this candle is under, it's over the, the limit of the, the pounds. This, what is it, six pounds? Um, I think this candle right here, which smells wonderful, that I got from the candle sale at Bath and Body Works. Yeah. I I mean, what are they delivering? Because they show as heck ain't going to deliver no groceries to you. And see, this is where the world, and I'm going to get serious for a minute. Okay, so first of all, let me finish it. It says, they also travel at 65 miles per hour. So the service has made over 350,000 deliveries. I know I read that. I'm just reading again. It can carry anything under three pounds of product. And they travel at 65 miles per hour. I'm worried for the birds. I'm worried for the feathered friends. And the accidents that will be caused when they hit a bird and, you know, may he rest in peace or she, and then that drone drops to the ground and causes an accident. That's what I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And then also, I need people to start paying attention to what is happening. They are making us, or they're trying to make some of us, because if y'all here listening to me, I ain't talking about y'all. I'm talking about people in the back. Okay. They are making people, can I say it without offending, lazier. 
all of these things out of convenience to everybody. God forbid if you have to get in your car and drive to go get food. Um, and I'm not knocking delivery. I'm all for, you know, everybody can't drive to the store. Everybody got stuff to do. I'm all for home delivery. My um, oldest daughter, she had been using, the, I don't know if she still do, but this is extra. You spending millions of dollars that you don't want, and you learn about giving pay raises and cutting hours when you do give the pay raises, but you're spending millions of dollars on drones that deliver under three pounds of product. I'm just trying to figure this out. Y'all can let me know what y'all think down in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video. I, 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 I don't understand how. Let me go back to the picture. Oh, I got to show y'all the video. I forgot. I got to show y'all the video. I got to show y'all the video. So here's the video. And then we can get out of here. Oh, he Find the connection. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I know y'all be saying that y'all watch some of these ads. Those ads pay me, so try not to click Enjoy off the ad unless it's over three minutes. For 60 months minutes. on the 2024 Mazda CX-50. This is how drone delivery works. This is a wing delivery drone. It's 11 pounds and can deliver packages within a six mile radius of its home base. In this case, Walmart and the Dallas area. You may not have this in your area just yet, but for people living in the Dallas area or in Christiansburg, Virginia, it is totally normal to see a drone deliver a package in your neighborhood. Here's how it works. The drones sit here on their charging pads in their nest waiting for an order. Once someone places an order in the wing delivery app, the order is packed in this tote. The drone will take off from its pad and let down this yellow clip, which an employee will use to attach the tote. This was incredibly fun to by the way, so the excited. And finally, the drone will deliver the package within 30 minutes or less from the time of ordering. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, Jesus. Listen. Take the time to realize all things aren't there to just be helpful for you. Is is a financial situation for them, but they wrap it in. I'm all about the customer. They wrap it in. I'm about uh, doing what is right for the people that they're doing what's right for their bottom line. Now I don't know. Y'all can let me know if you plan on trying this when it does come to your area or if you have tried it. Let me know in the comments. Let everybody know, okay? But I'm going to say this and I'm going to end the video. We need to stop the heck up, okay? A lot is happening. Um, I, I probably will do multiple videos today. I'm going to try to space them out. Um, but yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. I do love you, but God truly loves you more. He created only one you. So be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. Peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on Tiny Bites TV in Homestead. And um, wait. Uh, do, do, do. Do, do. Never mind. Let me go. <laughs> I'm acting silly. I'll see y'all in the next video, y'all. Don't forget to hit that like button and share the video out and drop comments down below. All those things do help this channel get out to more people and more people will be in the know. I am going to bring you probably some news you can't use, but it's entertaining.